Hey everyone, this is Alan Nichols at MaxHub. Today, we're going to go through how to do a standard deployment of your X-Core kit. Here's what you're going to need to deploy your X-Core successfully. First, ensure your network is ready. Microsoft has a site readiness guidance at the URL listed. You're going to need a global admin user on your tenant or have access to admins with the appropriate permissions to create a room resource account, assign a license to an account, and set a password for an account. Your XCore will need a room resource account and a Teams Room Basic or Pro license. If your organization uses conditional access, you will not be able to use the Teams Room Basic license and will require the Teams Room Pro license. The XCore must be connected to the network and have the necessary access to the internet as listed in the site readiness list. If you're using Exchange Hybrid, ensure that your room account is synced to your tenant. Your XCore will only sign into cloud accounts. You're first going to sign into admin.microsoft.com as your global admin user. If you're not a global admin, find the appropriate admins in your organization to complete these tasks with. Once signed in, you're going to navigate to resources, then rooms and equipment. You will then click the plus next to add resource. Next, you'll fill out the appropriate simple name, account name, and select the domain you wish to use for your x -Core. Depending on your organization, you may also have to fill out the room capacity, location, and phone number for that room, and then click Save. You've now created the room resource account for your XCore. Now let's go license it. Next, you're going to navigate over to Users, and then click Active Users. Now in Active Users, locate the room resource account you just created, either using filters or scrolling through your users. Now click the three dots to expand the menu and select Manage Product Licenses. Now select the Microsoft Teams Room Basic or Pro license that your organization has available and then click Save Changes. Now navigate back and click Reset Password. Now you're going to want to set a strong password for your resource account or have the system automatically create one for you. If you do this, please note the password, but don't write it down anywhere that somebody will find it because you're going to need it later. Ensure that you do not select require this user to change their password when they first sign in. If your organization does have a policy that expires passwords, please allow the room account to not expire. This is to prevent the device from going offline due to the password expiring. The device will not warn users that the password is about to expire. Now that we've set up a password for the account, let's go back to the device that is powered up and waiting. If your device was shipped with Teams 4.19 or later, you'll be greeted with this screen. This is where you would enter your one-time password if you use the Pro Admin Center to deploy your XCore. If your XCore was not shipped with 4.19 or later, you'll be just asked for a username and a password. So let's tap on Manual Setup and continue with the basic configuration. Please note that your new XCore device will have an out-of-box experience before you get to the screen. Follow the prompts, allow the device to update, and then continue to log the device in. Updates may take quite some time, so please be patient. Here, you'll just enter your username and your password that you created for the XCore, and then tap Finish. Your device will now log in and take you to the home screen. If you've entered the username and password correctly, and the device has proper network access, you'll be presented with the home screen and now you're ready to go. Now, let's go into the device settings and turn on a couple more features if your organization plans on using them. So, tap the More button. And now, tap Settings and wait for the login prompt. Your XCore's default password will be SFB, like Skype for Business, in lowercase letters. Tap on the password box, wait for the on-screen keyboard to pop up, type SFB, and then tap Yes. If the keyboard isn't coming up, tap on the login box anywhere and then tap back into the password box. If your organization is going to be using Direct Guest Join, you want to turn on the appropriate meeting platforms. After this, you'll need to tap Save and Exit and then reboot the XCore before you make any other changes. Once you have that done, Come back to the settings and check the peripherals, and make sure that your audio and camera are set properly. If you're using multiple cameras or multiple audio devices, you want to select your defaults here. If you need to log into Windows and change any system settings or install any additional software, tap on Windows Settings, navigate to Administrator, 
and log in using SFB as the password. Once you've made sure all your settings are correct, you can exit back to the main screen and start booking a meeting. When you're scheduling your team's meeting, be sure to book the XCore as a location or include it in the invite list as an attendee. This will ensure that the XCore gets the meeting invite and you'll be able to walk into your booked room at the scheduled time and tap join. You can schedule the room from both Outlook and the team's client. Depending on how many objects are in your directory, your XCore room account may take as little as five minutes or as long as 24 hours to show up in locations. This is due to the delay in refreshing the global address list in your tenant. Once the meeting invite is sent, the room will process the invite and display its meeting schedule on your touch panel. Once your meeting comes up, you can walk into the room, tap join, and your meeting will begin. If you need to check the health of your XCore or just need to pull some stats, change policies, or any other Teams-related settings, you can navigate to admin.teams.microsoft.com. This will bring you into the Teams Admin Center. Once you're there, expand Teams Devices and then Teams Rooms on Windows. You'll be able to find your XCore kit in there once it's logged in. You can also check in on the health of your device and peripherals here to verify user complaints or just as a basic first step troubleshooting tool. If you are planning on using Direct Guest Join for third party meetings, be sure to read about it on the first link here. You'll need to run the command below in PowerShell to be able to forward your external meetings from guests to the XCore to make that function work. Feel free to pause here to add these shortcuts just to make your administration a little bit easier. Thanks everyone. It's always great to talk to you. And as always, feel free to contact us at maxhub.com with any questions, support issues, or if you're interested in a demo.